Hello everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial and this, in this tutorial I will show you how you can insert multiple um, rows in one query and if you guys have not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the notification icon bell so that you can get notified first as soon as I update some new videos okay thank you so let's get started with uh, with this tutorial so in uh, my last video I showed you how you can uh, how we can insert a blog and now we need to insert the category IDs for that blog so let's go ahead and uh, try to do that and if you have not watched my previous videos then uh, go back and watch that one thing I would like to tell you uh, in this uh, stage is that um, this is about efficiency of your program try to do some little kind of efficiency so uh, it's not just a normal uh, tutorial uh, you can get some um, uh, advice and uh, some tricks so that you, your application and your code is always a little better than any others and you know your stuff uh, what does that mean and why you do it okay so here as you can see in my code I create a blog and I return it but in my UI you can see that I don't need to uh, return anything actually so I just need to return uh, re just return the thread and it can uh, simply show some message that data has been inserted and then this data can, we can then uh, redirect from this page to the blog's listing page actually so we don't need to return anything so in, the, in this case scenario what we can do is that we can just simply um, uh, if we want to store for example if we don't have to or if I just have to return from here what I can do is I can simply do return I can set on or anything or just return okay what it will happen is that uh, if you return more data set then it will try to process it will try to calculate the processing and then also it has some data size so your request time will be a little uh, higher so always try to return as low data as possible okay as necessary rec uh, record data so that you don't have to uh, send a lot of unnecessary data so the main fundamental idea is that never ever send uh, m data more than a record by the uh, UI okay so yeah that is uh, one of the advice okay so here let's go ahead and uh, try to create our blog so first of all let's uh, save it because I need this variable in order to store the ID so that I can get the ID and then I can use that ID to insert the uh, blog okay so I have to, I have a blog uh, categories and I have block categories table I have to insert the blog ID and the category ID so super fine right so let's go ahead and uh, do this so first of all I will simply uh, comment it out because I don't want to insert any new blog uh, new blog so I just need to see my categories okay so let's go ahead and uh, it will be an array so what we can do is we can save it request start and what we are sending here is that category ID okay since we are sending category ID we can access this as category ID and if you open laravel.log we will use this log file in order to see our data okay so we can say log.info and categories okay perfect so let's open the console network tab as is well and we just have to select both of them and we can check our log okay so here we go we have the ids here now we have to make a new array okay so what you have to do is uh, you can simply go ahead and do this way okay for example normally some people might be uh, doing this way um, for each uh, categories as c and then they can say okay if I open my block category model what I can do is create and what it uh, requires is that it requires at least uh, two things which is the uh, let's get these things from here category ID okay, let's take it here category ID so here category ID will be C and then and then here blog ID will be this variable and an ID okay okay so people will be creating like this but we will not be doing this way 
okay so how we are going to do that so let's see how we will be doing that it will uh, add multiple queries and n number of queries uh, as much uh, data you have in your category ID, uh, category uh, array so let's avoid this and see let's run a for each loop for each categories as C first of all let's try to log our IDs and see uh, if we have the IDs correctly listed here so we have our IDs correctly listed here okay so what we have to do is we have to make another array let's say block categories and we can make it an as an array and then what we can do is we can we can then use this array push function and we can push another array okay so what you can do is you can save a new array or you can say single well, we I don't have to write any new variable for this actually what I can do is I can write a new array here and inside that array I can say that the category ID is this and I can say my category ID is C okay after that let's say let's add one more thing here let's add this blog ID um, and let's add it as one for the time being and then let's do this log dot info perfect right let's remove these things check it out we are getting an error no we are not getting any error so okay i have to do this again you see i'm getting um multiple every here that's nice now what i can do is i have to make this fill uh, fillable items level come on category and then log id perfect right so now what i can do is i can simply uh let me try to insert that um what i can do is i can use instead of create i will have to use insert here now okay and if i simply pass this double array as i said um multi-dimensional every now it will be created okay so let's check it out we have the block categories and we have we don't have any data so let's create we got an error sorry that's obvious that we don't have this class imported so let's go ahead and try it now we have another array mm -hmm. okay maybe the page was not saved automatically that's perfect now you see we have two uh, item has been created but using just one query so it's really really nice and one thing you have to keep on mind is that you will, if you use insert insert you will not be able to get the created and updated data automatically so in that case you have to add your created data and updated data uh, all by yourself okay you have to pass your date okay so but I'm not doing it anywhere because I don't need this created ad and updated data at all so that's uh, that's cute so what I will be doing is now I will take this code and cut it uncommented and I will use it here and then I will simply return from here okay so what will happen is now it will create the blog first and then it will create the blog category okay so awesome right categories nope. and we okay we have block tags again 
so we will have to ta uh, take the tags uh, similar ways okay okay this is a nice blog a great blog blah 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 so that's perfect now we have blog id 47 and if we go to block categories uh block categories at the top we have sorry i have made a mistake here blog id is one which is fixed so i have to delete this one as well and what i have to do is i have to insert this blog then id here okay that's perfect so let's uh at this blog that's perfect okay I'm getting 48 now here you go blog ID 48 so I'm adding this successfully okay now it's your done is returning you see I'm just returning done and it's 200 not 201 so I have to update my condition here that says 200 okay perfect so it's awesome now what I have to do is I have to do the same thing for tags. So let's uh, let's do the tag as well right now. And what we can say after tag we can say tag ID and here that dot category ID we can say select tag. Tag ID, tag, get okay, T, 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 and you can say tag name, okay? Perfect, so we don't have tag array now. What we have to do is we have to make another array that says tag, and then instead of just calling where our this is our tag uh, get tag so now let's call it out constant res instead of res we can say cat tag here and uh, instead of just using a white we can call both of them together from start all and we can call this one and as well as the get text right so we can call both of them together you can check tag condition as well um, you can say rest of data uh, not rest of get dot data and similarly this dot tag dot tag dot data perfect right so if we come back to our create blocks page and if we do the refresh we see we can send both of the requests all together if you notice both requests sends at the same time so we get the tags here we go we go get the tag now and do we have any tags here we have laravel view and html and css tag if i came to come to here okay let's refresh it says tag name tag dot data do i have category okay i don't have category as well so it's mean i'm doing some kind of mistake here because the res is not defined so what I can say if get is defined okay the page has not been updated yet so yeah I have the tag here and I do have the category here now right I can write I can write here I can write here as well okay perfect so what I have to do is I have to do exact same thing here I can say block text here and I can say that 
my texture request dot um, tag id so it should say tag ids instead well that's okay checks okay so here what if insert block categories and here we go we can insert block tags so what we can do is we can copy paste the same thing and do the changes here okay so let's go ahead and we can set t that should be much nicer block tags and block tags should have tag id which is t t and block id is same that's perfect now instead of uh, block category we should bring in the block tag model here so perfect and insert that so it's all good now and we have to make this fillable here as well okay perfect so you can do the validation i already showed you how to do the validation in the back end and show it on your front end so that's super simple obviously let's remove this one below delete rows and for blocks delete this block now it's perfect so it's all good now let's add one more all of this four item here okay we are getting error that's cool push except cannot be null perfect we have something null here we have to do the validation in the back end we will do that so we have app okay so this is one kind of mistake mistakes i keep uh, doing okay all good now okay we got an error that's why okay we have to do validation for this one so that we don't mess it up because you saw we just messed it up one so we have to take and um, i will show you something uh very important in my coming videos regarding transactions so that if one transaction is messed it up then you should roll back now all good okay so you have block text full tag block id 51 and you have all this text here and then you have the block 51 and then you have block categories okay so guys thank you for watching so far and if you haven't subscribed please do like subscribe and comment comment your really little feedback and if you encounter any kind of problems uh, or errors just post these questions post your question in our facebook group and i will and the other developer will try to help you guys as much as possible thank you guys for watching this video please share this video bye